the backyard. Good morning, everybody. Another new day has arrived. Right on time. We're gonna have to be careful with this shed back here. It's got a metal roof and no ice stoppers. So all of this ice is just gonna fall off whenever it pleases onto whatever unsuspecting fellow may be below. How are we going there, wiener? Oh. All right then. Love you too, bud. Same thing on this side. You can see, I can back up further here. You can see the top there, I was gonna slide down. Right onto an unsuspecting weasel. Diesel, you should probably get out of there. Diesel, come here. Come on, get out of there. I'm gonna have to go and uh, with my broom or something and pull that off of there. Kind of cool how it curls around here though. Yeah, check this out. It's almost like a an upside down ice wave, right? You know, you gotta enjoy the small things. It's the small things. Something that's not so small though. This fence though. Wow. Best investment we could have ever made here. It's great. We've just gotta fix a few little things like over here. This fence doesn't quite go to the ground. So in spaces like this, the little guys could technically just walk right under it. They haven't figured it out yet, so shh, don't tell them. We always have to watch them very carefully and always make sure that they have their, their identification on them just in case if the worst does happen that the neighbors can look at the tag and be like, oh, you belong over there and bring them back. So oh, you gonna run away from me again? Am I that ugly? I gotta fill up my propane tank. It's not for you, bud. You wanna go inside? I'm guessing you wanna go and see mom? Yeah. Why spend time out here with me when she's inside, right? I totally understand. Here you go. He is definitely Brit's dog. He is a one owner dog. He loves me too, but it pales in comparison. This guy likes her a little bit more than me, but he likes me. I think he just likes that I acknowledge his military experience as Sergeant Frank fought in the Great Milk Bone Wars. That's right, buddy. Now open the door. Let's take your collar off first, okay? You don't need that inside. All right. And then the big guys, they love me. Hi, right, Chevy. Hi, right, Chevy. I want to come play, Dale? What's that? Yeah, there's a big bag of garbage there. And Diesel is my boy. I think he loves me equally with Brit. Maybe a little bit more even. Maybe a little bit more. Chevy loves us both equally though. He loves everybody. He's got that golden retriever brain. He just loves living. He's that typical dog you see in the movies that's just perfect, you know? That's Chevy. He just believes the best in everybody and just loves everybody. You know, that's sort of where I get my saying from. My, uh... My quote, be the person your dog thinks you are. What are you looking at? You see it? No, I don't. What are you looking at? What's there? What do you see? Where is it? It's right there, man. Are you blind? Now you're looking over there. What are you looking at? Just admiring the scenery, man. Sucking it all in. So it's creepy when you see your dog just staring at something and you can't tell what they're staring at. But they're staring at something like something's about to pop out of the bush and maul you. Oh, yes. Look at these guys. We switched up their uh, supplements. And glucosamine to a different brand. We went from Nature Vet to Doggy Dailies because Doggy Dailies, first of all, is priced a lot better and it's a lot easier for us to get a hold of uh, through Amazon in Canada. Because our Amazon is different than Amazon in the US. Our Amazon, um, in some things, is okay and better, and in other things, not as good as the US. But uh, the Nature Vet was really easy to get in the US when I was able to go down there. But now that I'm in Canada more, we decided to uh, try out Doggy Daily's Advanced Hip and Joint Supplement for Dogs. Everything's melting. It's a really nice day outside. 
I don't know why the wire for their cable goes here under my house. Comes so low from over there. These wires, I could practically touch them. Don't worry, the power wire's up there. We also need to trim that tree a little bit just to get a little further away, but got my Santa hat on. That's because we're going to be spreading some Christmas cheer today, delivering it around town to the people we know anyways, since we're not gonna be able to have big gatherings this year. Obviously, I'm not very happy about that because Christmas is our favorite time of year. But what can you do? We're gonna go and uh, just drop off some Christmas cards for people in their mailboxes and they can grab it from there whenever they have the time. You can't stop Christmas. We're still gonna bring you your Christmas card. <laughs> and I think somebody's gonna come with us to spread a little extra cheer. Right, Diesel? In a way only a weasel can do. Chevy, I'm sorry you're gonna stay home this time. I know you really wanna come. Okay, next time. You'll come on the next outing. Come on. Chevy, inside. Other way. Inside. Stop hiding behind me. Gotta go inside, buddy. Oh, I forgot the keys. Wait, Diesel, just wait till I get the door open. There you go. Gabber, bud. Gabber. Good boy. I couldn't say no to those golden eyes. Brown eyes. They kind of look it golden. It was mom's idea. Chevy. So we took them both. We'll go find a place for them to run around, get some of their energy out, and also deliver some Christmas at the same time. I understand it was Thanksgiving in America yesterday, so I hope you guys down there had a happy Thanksgiving. A.D. Penner Park. I don't know what the A.D. stands for, do you know? No. It's probably the guy's name. I don't even know his name. I've been here my whole life. A.D. We'll just call him Ad. Ad, or maybe Aid. Well, let's face it. Half the Mennonites who start with A who are male are Abraham. So that's probably, probably Abe. Abe. Abe Diedrich. Abe Diedrich. Penner, I bet you. I bet you anything. I'm gonna have to go on Google later and see how yeah. close we are. <laughs> so we can't even get into any of the parks because they closed them all. This is ridiculous. We can't even go to the park. That's, they were getting heavy handed before. That's ridiculous. We can't even go there and breathe the open air. Let the dogs run around. It's getting a little silly. Trucker Josh doesn't know where he's going. I have no idea where I'm going. Trucker Josh makes a lot of strange turns. We were gonna go to the park, but all the parks are closed. I guess we could go down to our spot, but... It's a well, little bit of a ways away. Well, you know what? We'll uh, we'll go deliver our Christmas cheer because we're getting a little down on ourselves right now. It's, we're getting fact, a little pessimistic. Yeah, the fact that the parks are closed, I don't agree with. Not at all. So uh, we're just gonna go instead, we're gonna pull over here where it's nice and safe to do so. We're gonna put our Santa hat on. And it's gonna be a good day. Chevy, we're going to be cheerful. Chevy's always cheerful. You cannot be anti-cheerful when you're delivering Christmas cards of cheer. Anti-cheerful? Yes, it's a thing. Anti-cheerful. First stop, mom and dad. Mom and dad have a video doorbell that'll let her know someone's at the door. We're gonna go and say Merry Christmas at the doorbell and then come back. Hello. Dropping off a Christmas card for you.
We had to come home for a little break. Somebody got a little bit of an injury. We found a little open space for them to run around in. And uh, Diesel's back foot. Diesel, come here, let me see. He's got very delicate feet, this guy. Yeah, your feet. Can you sit? Can you sit? Ah, uh, yes, it's this one. Mm. Oh, no. Another sore right here. Hard to get a good angle. You got all kinds of sores on your feet, Diesel. I think it's sort of just like a uh, like a blister. You hurt? You okay? You tough guy? We'll leave you at home now, okay? We gotta go continue bringing our Christmas cards out. You rest up here, old man. We're kind of thinking, or I'm kind of thinking anyways, I'm not a doctor or anything, but I think that it's uh, uh, just from rubbing together. Diesel's used to being on the truck with me a lot. And since we've been home, he's been doing a lot of running around with his brother. And we're thinking maybe his paws and his skin's just not quite used to that. And it's just creating little blisters. Sort of like uh, when you get a new pair of shoes, you know, and you do a lot of walking when you're not used to doing any walking. And you get huge blisters on your feet and then you just got to build up calluses. Maybe that's all it is. Regardless, we'll let him heal for a day or two. Yeah, I'll keep an eye on it. We got creams and stuff for it if it gets worse. It, it didn't look like it broke the skin. It just looked uh, like irritated, like a blister. Yeah. We got a doctor in the house though. Doctor mom. PhD in mommy medicine. Mm -hmm. School of hard knocks. Hey, Santa's in a hurry. Got places to be. We're on our way to uh, our friends around the corner. Just gonna drop Christmas card off in their mailbox. Let them know what's there for them. And then head out to cousin Chris and Tanya. We'll leave one in their mailbox. We got one for my sister who lives in town here. Anyone who lives outside of town, we're uh, sending through in the mail, right? Well, and even a couple people in town. Yeah. Just but we needed nice. to get out of the house today too. Oh yeah. We don't have to go into their house or anything. Mm -mm. Wave at them through the window like we did mom. Mm-hmm. And then they can let it sit out there or they can go get it. That's up to them. This is where we had the garage sale. Oh, Merry Christmas! Nobody's here. They got jobs. Sabrina and Rick. Mm-hmm. We got this. Okay, Santa's gotta come with though. Where are we going? Which way? That way? Front. Oh, Bandit. Bandit's barking. Merry Christmas, Bandit. <laughs> nice! Look, there's Bandit! Come there's here. Bandit! <laughs> Hi, big boy! I miss you guys! I love your lights, they're so pretty! <laughs> See you soon! Off to the next one! Alright, and we're off to the next place. I think we only had four, right? Yeah, just four today. Just four. We gotta get stamps too. Oh yeah. Oh, we better kind of hurry then. Cheryl. Cheryl. That was almost synchronized. That's pretty impressive. We're naturals. Let's put that right by the door there. Knock, knock, Ginger. Go, go, oh. go, go! <laughs> Yeah, I guess we're dropping off the cards a little early. I mean, it's not even December yet, but hey, you know us. And she knows us, she should know. It's what's Christmas. The, what's the point in having Christmas cards if you're just gonna give them out on Christmas? Then what, they stay out for a day or two and then they get recycled? At least this way, people can enjoy them for the whole month. And last but not least, Chris and Tanya. We'll see how their goats are doing. Chris, Tanya, Reagan, Avery, and Ty. I just put in family. It's for all Easier of Easier than all five of the names. <laughs> <laughs> she wrote out a lot of them, so you gotta cut her some slack. <laughs> I wrote out like, I don't know, 40 Christmas cards. Her, her thumb was deformed at the end of it. <laughs> I had like this big dip. It was like a piece of it was missing. And her phone wouldn't let her unlock with the thumbprint. It, it didn't recognize my thumb anymore. <laughs> so we figured we'd take a little walk around the farm here. They stayed inside. 
But oh, look at this guy's hairdo. Look at him. Hey, buddy. No, no, don't be scared. Oh, I came in a little too strong. Too strong. I think that's the loud rooster, the one back there with the red, red head. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. What's going on, guys? Look at that guy's hairdo. Look at that guy coming over there. What's up, bud? He's the boss, I think. Man, with that hairdo, you are definitely the boss. I'd call you Foxy Brown. You see him swing it around, swing it around there? <laughs> yeah, I know I look good. I know I look good. Look at me. I'd name him Elvis. Thank you. Thank you very much. I look good, don't I? Watch me comb my hair real fast. <laughs> Just let me comb my hair. Man, I look good. Thank you. Thank you very much. You don't like you don't like bunnies? It's not that I don't like them, it's that they are deadly to me. Oh yeah, they're I like the red eyes. What's up, Dolly? Camp. Hey Kathleen. Oh wait, no, that's Kevin Bacon. Kevin Bacon? Yeah, Kathleen's over there. Sir Bacon. I can you. Hey Nash. Oh. There he is. Hey good looking. <laughs> hey. Hi Nash. Oh wow. <laughs> he wants to be YouTube famous. Hi, sweetie. I love Hi. the YouTubes. Is this Dolly? No, not Dolly. Uh, Dorothy? Can't remember. <laughs> are, are you biting me? Are you jealous? Are you jealous? <laughs> wow, you're beautiful. Look at you. You are good looking. They were over there. Oh, no, that's Budweiser over there, I think. Wait, which one's Budweiser? I think that's Budweiser over there. Rich is obsessed with the goats. Pedro. Pedro. <laughs> How you doing? You're a different looking goat. She grew up in here with the goats. She doesn't even know she's a dog. <laughs> Got little kittens too. Hi, Hi. You're so fluffy. I don't mean to scare you. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to the full service. I don't want to pump my own gas because I'm a spoiled guy. Notice, what does it say? Effective November 22nd, we will be changing our hours. Oh, just different hours. So Nash was a little upset at Brett. Don't go and see him for weeks and then I didn't even bring him any treats. He started biting my fingers. Gently. They were love, bu love bites, but unimpressed love bites. You made the goat mad. My favorite goat at that. Is that the only cone? Is there another cone over there? Mm, this... Don't think so. Oh, I guess we're gonna find out. But we're good. Okay. Alright, we're gonna go back home. Have you ever noticed how masks make people extra creepy? Well, I got a Chevy with me. A little evening excursion. I want some Pepsi. <laughs> Not just that, we need a few uh, few small groceries that we need for supper tonight. And uh, I'll pick those up at 7-Eleven. Tomorrow we're gonna actually do our grocery haul. I've also gotta pick up groceries for my mom tomorrow and bring them to her doorstep. So that'll be uh, in tomorrow's video. A little bit of adventure. It's snowing today again. It's coming down all right right now. I'm pretty sure we're gonna wake up to a fresh white blanket in the morning. It's not coming down too bad right now. I don't even know if the camera's picking it up, but it's coming. It'll be a nice, fresh, pure white...
blanket of snow to wake up to. I love that. I love waking up to fresh, powdery snow. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hi! Don't mess with me. Don't mess with me. Well, Chevy, was it a good day? Was it a good day? Are you upset that we didn't take you to see the goats? Well, you're quite okay with that. <laughs> so, like every other day the past week or so, there's not much we can do. So we did the most with what we could. Delivered a little bit of Christmas cheer. Went to go see some goats. Can't wait till this is all over and everything goes back to normal. I'm, I'm starting to, uh, well, I just want to go out with family and friends again and do normal things again and have normal news cycles, you know, a normal world one day. But for the time being, I guess we're just hanging out here on YouTube. So thanks for tuning in today. It was a lot of fun. Glad you decided to tune in and hang out. Tomorrow will be another video. I hope you decide to hang out with us again. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't already. We make a new video every day. And tomorrow, I believe we have a few things planned. I don't want to spoil it for you yet, but don't forget to hit that bell so you don't miss it. I'll see you then.